What's up, everybody? It's Dude Nemo. We right back in the building, bringing you the latest in the news, hip hop, sports, and entertainment. An actor, Jonathan Majors, was found guilty of assault and harassment to his girlfriend. Now, this case has been ongoing for quite some time now, so everybody really have their different opinions about really what happened. Now, everybody over the last couple of months has been seeing the footage of his girlfriend chasing him. And also, everybody have heard the audio of him basically telling her, this is what we need to do to be a power couple. And he was laying down the plan for them as a marriage. But man, 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 is it the powers that be that handed him down this verdict? We don't know. We do not know. But we got Corey Holcomb. Corey Holcomb had his take about the whole situation. Now, we finna get into this video clip. And I give y'all my commentary in the end. Here's was found guilty of one misdemeanor assault charge, which includes recklessly causing injury and one harassment violation in the case with his ex-girlfriend who said he attacked her. Of course, you know, as uh, he left it in her, he left her in that car in excruciating pain. And his legal team um, is sticking by that she was the aggressor. Well, Within hours of the verdict, Marvel Studios and Walt Disney Company dropped him. Um, he was on track to become a central character named Kang, if you didn't hear. Um, he did make some appearances before in the Marvel Universe, um, in Ant-Man and the first two seasons of Loki. Um, anyway, and he was set to blow up big in 2026. They had already had, um, he was scheduled to do that movie, which was going to be solely based on him and this one character. What is that in his hand? Called The, the Book. The, the, I mean, the Bible that he was carrying the whole time. And then, and then of course, um, <laughs> his lawyer said that Major still has faith in the process and looks forward to fully clearing his name. His sentencing is set for February 6th and the maximum set for the assault conviction only is a year. So, All right. So y'all ready that's for That's the this? max yep. he can get. Yeah, that's the max he can get for that. I don't know if they're going to give him anything for everything. Else. That's, the, that's the skinny that's out there for the mainstream. But if you do the research on this, Everybody who has something to do with law was saying, I can't believe a misdemeanor was even brought to mm. trial. Mm. They say this stuff rarely makes it That's to true. trial. It's like they somebody wanted them. Somebody so, wanted to get them. Yeah, no, there's a guy who runs the office down there. I can't think of his name. Anybody who does the research. Will you please put up there the name of the new office what, like the who, DAs? yeah, who who made this happen? It's a Stephen A. Smith type nigga. Mm -hmm. That's who I'm getting at. It's a brother. They hire niggas now to prosecute niggas to talk like Stephen A. Smith talk about black men on TV. Mm -hmm. But with Giddy, it's like, oh, you don't know what happened. You know what I'm saying? Right. They listen. This is what you need to know about this case. The woman got arrested. They don't even arrest women, especially. Come on, that guy. Hold on. I think that's him. I think that's him. Mm -hmm. What's the name? Alvin Bragg, Manhattan's first black district attorney. I don't know now. He's just one of them. Yeah, no, that's that's him. Manhattan's first black district attorney. Put there just like Obama was put there. Under Obama, they wrote a whole bunch of laws to hang people. Under Stephen A. Smith, you could talk about black men on ESPN, but everybody else gets due process or they his friend. Wow. Now, they hiring mm. these sellout Negroes to be in charge of offices. Let me tell you what's happened in this case. I don't like his look. The Caucasian woman in question got arrested. They don't arrest Caucasian women on my battery and all that they arrested her the officers came and arrested her this is what you need to know about that jonathan majors case what are you talking about? when she was drunk lean and like knocked out in his own closet they like video of the down the street uh, that was ridiculous right i was like okay good he's at this is what you need to know about this case i'm like how you hurt and you chasing that man and it's so it's so terrible when you think about it but it's just you need to know what's happening mm -hmm. 
None of the evidence against the woman was allowed in the courtroom. Jesus. None of the evidence they had showing what she did was allowed in the courtroom. They said, we don't care what she did. Even though she got arrested, they didn't want to prosecute her. Mm. What the f- world is this? You know what they called her? The survivor. Oh. They was calling the in the courtroom. This person wound up drunk where Jonathan Majors was supposed to be. So he went and got a hotel because he didn't want no drama. See, he did stay with me. He didn't want no drama, and they found him guilty. Anybody who's been through the court system, you ain't surprised. You already know what the court system is. Court system hang you, dog. If you got money, you normally can beat it. But if you in the courtroom, hope brother Majors is listening to this. If you in the courtroom and you was a Caucasian woman, got no rights. Them don't hang your ass. They don't even. They don't even pursue these types of cases. It was a misdemeanor. Yes, and do you know what I? This is what I believe. They said we don't got on this this evidence against him, and we gonna we want to make it. And a nigga was in charge. And I think that those when they played, which she purposely saved those, but when they played those messages that he left her or that she recorded in his apartment, that didn't help. Even though, to me, it was like, okay, well, that shouldn't eat. That shouldn't eat, have anything to do with what happened that night. However, I think that's what they're using against him. Did you did you hear those ones where he was talking about how she needed to be like this? They didn't like that. Yeah. See what I'm saying? Remember when he was saying you need to be if you you're gonna be down with me? I didn't find anything too tough about the messages that he was leaving or he was telling her. She was just crying, okay. And he was like, if you're gonna be down with this, Let me you gotta be game. like this. You gotta be in position like this. Let me give you the game. They didn't like to hear that. Now, 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 now that dude who you said, he black, right? But guess what? What? The jury was all Caucasian. Oh, except no. for one black lady. Oh. And you ought to see what she had to say when they asked her about the jury, about the verdict. She did this. Yes. Oh, they broke her Ooh. down. Dang it. <laughs> Homie, let me tell you something, man. That dude mm. was done. Do you remember in New York when that black tennis yeah. Do you really go face? Do you really? Yes. Then how dare you come home drunk and disturb the peace of our house when we have a plan? I'm so I would like sorry. to get to, I would like to get to the point where your friends know what job I'm on and go, I think Grace is gonna be out of commission. You know what I mean? Yeah, I, I won't so, like I'm, I No no, do you understand that? Because because that team, that unit, right? Grace has to be in a certain mindset. To the point, Coretta Scott King, you know who that is? That's Martin Luther King's wife. Michelle Obama, Barack Obama's wife. I know, I'm not, I, I, I shouldn't have gone out, I'm no, no, sorry. Let me, just, let me just lay it out for you, right? If I am, I'm just gonna say this. My temper, my trauma, blah, blah, all that, all that said, right? And I'm gonna say, I'm a great man. A great man. I am doing great things, not just for me, but for my for my culture and for the world. That is actually the position I'm in. That's real. I'm not being a I didn't ask for it. I've worked and that's the situation. The woman that supports me, that I support, that we're that needs to be a great woman and make sacrifices the way that man is making for her and for them ultimately. Yeah, and I'ma just be honest with everybody because that's what we do over here on doing them discussions. When this case first came out and everybody started talking about it, and I seen that it was going to trial, I got to thinking, right? I'm like, you know, a misdemeanor is going to trial. That's when I knew right then and there that someone, someone right about this whole situation. It was like they was aiming for him. It was like it was like an agenda. So I really just didn't even look too much into this case and really this this whole situation 
because I already knew it in my heart of hearts that it was over for them anyways. Because if they was taking this to trial, they really had it up for this man. And the second thing I want to just point out, why is this woman, the woman that you're supposed to be loving on, the woman that you're spending your time with, and the woman that you probably could have had kids with, why is she recording you in 2021? This audio of them talking, she was recording that man in 2021. Now, any woman that you is with and that you love can sit up and save an audio of you and her talking for a bag up just in case something happened. You don't need her around, brother. You do not need her around. This woman was really up to something from the get-go. Because ain't no dang gone way. Somebody that you love will save an audio from 2021 for a bag up just in case something pop off. And that's exactly what she did. Now this here is a prime example of the judicial system failing. Now we know already that the judicial system and law enforcement is, is one of the crookedest people that we know, right? They just keep it 100, right? They just do not always get it right. They do not always get it right. And in this case, you can clearly see it. I mean, you can clearly see it, man. Corey Hoker made some real true points, and I agree with him 100%. Now, I would love for y'all to let us know in the comment box below what y'all think about this whole situation. And if this is your first time to the channel, make sure you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe on your way out. And that notification bell is sitting right on over there. So tap it right about now. We appreciate that. This dude, I'm in the building. We'll see you guys on the next one. Yeah.